It's David Wowie. How you doing? Which banners should you pull in the current anniversary campaign in another Eden? I shared what I thought were my top banner picks in my latest anniversary stream. It was an epic stream full of amazing guests, including Scott, the community manager for another Eden. Check it out. I've linked to it in my description. But when I did these recommendations, I had been streaming for close to six hours already. So I do sound kind of funny. And also I talk to the chat. So just making you aware of that. There's also one big thing I forgot to mention in the stream, which is to do with the Star Dream Encounters. For the new players of this game, a Star Dream Encounter is a paid banner. And what makes this paid banner so popular is that you can choose the exact character you want. However, there's one issue that I've come to realize, and it's the fact that when you get that character you want, they're not Stellar Awakened. So for the new players out there, to Stellar Awaken a character means to unlock one of their best abilities, as well as a bunch of other very positive traits, such as the ability to level them up to level 100. But now with the Star Dream Encounter, when you get the character you want, if it's a, a character that can get Stellar Awakened, they won't be Stellar Awakened. Which means, if you're a free-to-play player, if you're extremely lucky and you pull that same character two more times, then, they'll be still, then you can Stellar Awaken them. But if you're not lucky, they won't be Stellar Awakened and it could take you three months or more before you can Stellar Awaken them. And if you're on a subscription, it may take less time. And if you buy a bunch of banners or whatever, it may take less time. I have a whole guide on Stellar Awakening, so check that out. But just putting it out there, when you get the Star Dream Encounter and you pay for it, pay good money for it, and you get that character you want, and it's one of the newer characters that can be Stellar Awakened, you might be disappointed because you still have to Stellar Awaken them. That's all. Now check out the video. Obviously the banner everyone should do because it's a free banner. You get one pull for free every day for 10 days, and on the 10th day, you get a 5-star character. So you get this one on the 10th day. So you'll accumulate these little tickets from this, you see on this screen. Once you have 10, you'll get that free 5-star. Then if you look at this banner, this is the Guiding Star Encounter. You see, you saw a lot of people do this on my stream. I think Mikey did it a bunch of times. What Guiding Star Encounter does, it's a paid banner. And you get a, you get a 10 pull with it. And then you get this item at the end that lets you pick one of 10 random Stellar Awakened characters. At first I thought you can specify which Stellar Awakened character you can, you can get, but unfortunately you can't, which is a shame. So, one of 10, who, who is the 10? So anyone in this poster? Daisy AS. If you, if you, I would personally want to get, watch the stream, I would personally want to get Thilili Extra Style and Alma Another Style from this banner. But they're all pretty good. They're all good. Just my personal preference because they're high damage dealers. Alma, I've done guides in both so you can do some research on them. But they're all pretty good. They're all good in their own ways. Mopifia, see the the bottom left three characters, Mopifia, Sarius, and Suzanka are Arcadia characters. I've done guides on them too, so check them out. Um, this is, this is a, who did this? Star Dream Encounter. So, sorry, there's a question. Spider Sonic 214 is asking, if it was the case though, David, would I do it? Would I do which one? So, the Star Dream Encounter lets you pick any specific character you want in the game. Anyone up to now. So, this is, if you wanted to put money into it, this is probably the one you want. But before you do that, before even thinking of spending, make sure to do the free pulls first. I'll go back, go through them for after it, after this. But this is a, a paid banner. So if you watch the stream, you get a 10% chance of getting two of the latest characters, Xianhua and Annabelle ES. So this is essentially a 20% chance of getting one of them on the on the 10th pull. It's a paid banner. Just be careful if you're spending money. If, you, if you're not a whale, right? This is a 20% chance of success of getting one of them. and it, But then reverse it. That's an 80% chance of losing. Just remember that. If, if, you're not, if money means something to you, like if, if you 
on a low budget. Just remember, it's an 80% chance of losing. Same with this. You get a 10% chance of getting Xianhua on the 10th pull, but a 90% chance of failing. I've said this in many videos. I, I think out of the many, the countless paid banner pulls I've done on specific characters, I've only ever gotten that specific character once on a paid banner. So because it's 90% loss rate, just think about that. Same with Annabelle ES. So Annabelle, for anyone in the chat, would you who would you choose if you could only pick one? I can recommend I can recommend this in the video. Would it be Annabelle ES or Xianhua? At the top of my head, like let's say if you only had to pick between one or two. Xianhua, if you need a strong magic dealer. Isaiah was really helpful in the stream tonight about talking about her skill set. So if you need a magic non-element, she's a non-element magic user who has some extreme buffs that can make greatly increased intelligence, strong magic attacks, but she's non-element. If you want that, you got this. If you want a good hybrid tank, and can someone correct me if I'm wrong, she's also a damage dealer, but not, ex not, a very, not an extreme damage dealer. Maybe she she more I haven't studied her that well. Um, you go for this banner. Henrique is back in the stream. Hello, Henrique. Isaiah says Annabelle, yes, if you need a tank. But what is her other skill set? Because I know if there's one of another type, like I think if she has more guiding light or luring shadow, she becomes less of a tank and more of an attacker. If I'm correct, or more of a support character. So those would weigh your decisions, which one you would prioritize. Another thing you'd prioritize is, let's say you're low on resources and you're a very patient person. If you have Annabelle normal style, then at some point it may take days, it may take weeks, it may take months. You can eventually side grade your existing Annabelle and unlock Annabelle extra style. Also, you may want Annabelle purely because you're a huge fan of Annabelle. For anyone who watches this stream, watched the stream earlier, it was a massive fan of Annabelle Pex who built a huge Minecraft shrine for Annabelle. I'll see what everyone's saying in chat. Charity would recommend Sienha over Annabelle. Isaiah would say Annabelle e says Annabelle yes if you need a tank. Ahmed votes Xianhua. Ruben says he already has a version of Annabelle, so he'd pick Xianhua. But if you, and Isaiah continued, if you need magic, go Xianhua. So Spider Sonic says, if you could only pick, then I'd pick Xianhua, since Annabelle ES, I can get her in a while. So, as I said, if you have the patience and you have Annabelle, you may get her. Though, realistically, it could, yeah, it's very random if you can upgrade her. Some characters, I've, it's been months I haven't been able to side grade. Some I've been able to side grade within a few weeks. It depends on your luck. The next is the Kuchinao banner. I've done a guide on it. He is a insane. If you, if you want to complete the Arcadia team, he's a part of the Arcadia team. He's a big part of the Arcadia, the Rai Saga story. If you want him, this is your chance. But once again, this is the paid banner we're looking at, by the way. 10% chance. So 90% chance of not getting him. Just look at the numbers and decide for yourself. 10% chance of getting him. That... That sounds good, but that's also a 90% chance of not getting him. So you, you're trying your luck. It's gotcha, man. You're trying your luck. He's an earth magic user. I've done a guide on him. He's completely broken. As I was talking about him too. He's an amazing character. So he's an earth magic user. He's also a DPS. So he's a damage dealer. So if, really, I think if you want to compare, how would you compare Isaiah Kuchinawa to Xianhua? Xianhua, first of all, you'd want each for different the story reasons and how they look, obviously. And Xianhua is a different element. She is a non-magic dealer. Kuchi is a earth damage dealer. So he's elemental and he has some synergies with other characters like the Arcadia characters. So those are things you need to weigh and think about. Um... Out of all of these paid banners, obviously I would choose Star Dream Encounter because you get exactly who you want. Then, if you don't have any Stellar Awakened character, I would choose this banner because you can randomly get 
you can randomly get a one of these stellar awakening characters. they're all really good they're all really good broken characters and as i mentioned at the start i would pro i would personally really want to get phil es and alma as but they're all really good um those are the paid banners and then after that if you still have some cash i'll trickle down to this one because if you look at pure prob probability you have a 20 percent chance of getting two of the newest characters with this so let's go to the paid free banners oh there's still one more paid left magic secrets edition so you have a 10 percent chance of getting one of these there these are all good so people in the stream will saying how much how good if he is so you have a 10 percent chance of getting iffy 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 10 percent chance of getting iffy these are all really good characters Re melody s is amazing i think she's underrated she's great for a win team yakumo you get the sidekick yakumo's on the top left you get the sidekick kumos who regenerates mp uh this is this is actually sorry i didn't know this this paid pool was still here this is actually a good paid pool. So you have a 50% chance of getting one of these compared to the 20% chance of others. So if you're new to the game, you don't have anyone else yet. These could be some of the best characters in the game you could have a high chance of getting. So even if you ignore the social media hype of Xianhua and Annabelle and just purely, you have one day left of this, get this one. You'll be pretty happy with getting any of these. Iffy especially in the bottom right. You'd be very happy if you get Iffy. Very, very happy. Also very happy if you get Yakum on the top left. Pretty happy if you get Kuchi. Then Melody AS on the top right is pretty good. And Pom AS on the bottom left is pretty good too. As I was showing her off earlier. I don't have it yet. But these are all good. The percentage rates are really high. But you only have one day left. Get this. What the hell? There's another paid banner. No, this is the free... Hang on. Yeah, this is paid banner. This is a free banner. So this is just like the other paid banner I talked about earlier. We have a higher chance of getting Xinhua and Annabelle, but it's free, so they want you to lose. It's designed for you to fully lose. So, But people in the stream today have been lucky with it. Farouk. With, what, 6k stone, she got both of these characters for free. So if you're looking at the numbers... You have a 0.8 chance of pulling Annabelle and a 0.8 chance of pulling Xianhua on the 10th pull. So 0.8. So that's a 99.2% chance of failure. All right. Look at the numbers. 99.2% of failure. Same with Kuchi. He's good too. If you had to pick between these two free banners, I would pick this one simply because of the probability. You get a higher chance of getting two great characters than you can get of one great character. That's the main reason why I would choose this banner, this free banner. Okay, let's read the comments. Yeah, Ozai has a good point about Kuchinawa. So compared to Xianhua, from what Ozai has shown us, Xianhua has good buffs, boost intelligence, but Kuchi, that's a really good point, Ozai. He has a really... He's really good at debuffs. I've used him for the inimical super boss when I was trying to beat it. He can, what, a 50% reduction in power intelligence? Something crazy like that. Watch my guide. He's super. If you really want to weaken your enemy, Kuchi is good for that. And then Xianhua, from the skills Azar has shown us, can really boost her intelligence and make herself really strong. Kuchi can make the enemy really weak, but also deal insane damage. Um, he can also, he has, also has other buffs. So that, that's my pick. So, so let's, let's reverse, let's go back to this. So free, free pulls, I would recommend obviously the daily pull, that you can't go anything wrong with that. So on the 10th day, you get a free five star. So you may even want to wait on the 10th day. So you might, what if you get, Oh, no, I don't think you can get Xianhua in this, can you? Can you get Xianhua and Annabelle ES from this? I don't think you can. 
Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, as I says, Kuchi brings fifty percent down and everything. Um, Henrique says he pulled two thousand. Seen one with three two thousand. Congrats, man. So I will go for this, but I don't think you can get Annabelle ES or Xinhua for free from this banner. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so free banners, I will then choose this one as a free banner, because, just simply because you have a higher chance of getting two great characters. Paid banners, I'm because I might release another like a cutout of this video. This banner may not exist anymore. But for anyone who's watching live right now, I would prioritize this banner. If you don't have any of these characters, I mean, you can get a 10% chance of getting iffy. That's really good. Sorry, before this, I would put, pick Star Dream Encounter, obviously, because you can pick exactly who you want. Um, this one is good, too. We get a Stellar Awakened character. That's probably my third favorite. And then I'd trickle down to this one, this Annabelle ES and Xinhua paid banner because you have 20% chance rather than a 10% chance of getting good characters. And then I'd, I'd debate whether you want Xinhua, Annabelle ES or Kuchi, whether these ones be, once again, remember you still have a low, even if you're paying money, you still have a low chance of getting these characters. Just warning you all. So don't, if you get, if you fail, you had a 90% chance of failure. So. Um, should I do? Hopefully that helped. I'll, should I do a turn pull? I'll do, a, I'll do a little bit of pull. I'll just whisper if I scream. Because it's 3.30 a.m. Oh, God. I've always been awake for 24 hours. Um, and then I don't want to wake up my neighbors. So if I scream, you'll be like... <sighs> be like I'm being kidnapped. All right. Clambo says do it. Do I have paid? I have 275 paid stones. 